Okay, this morning we're going to decorate in the living room for Halloween. We got our built-ins done, and I love them. They came out great. They did a great job. Um, I'm loving the hardware on them, the mixed metal. And there's the inside. Um, so, yeah, we're going to decorate for Halloween in here. It's going to be very light because it's the week of Halloween, and um, it's going to be light and bright in here, not like my other rooms that I've done so far. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be fun, so let's get into it. and decorate the living room for Halloween because by the time they finish it we were less than a week away from Halloween but my soul wouldn't let me pass this up I already had kind of a plan of what I wanted to do so we're just doing it um, and um, so we started out with the garland on the mantle to start the centerpiece of it all and I just used some Christmas stocking holders that are weighted to hold the garland up I used the creepy cloth the spider garland and the bat garland that lights up and I also added in that black eucalyptus that I found on Amazon. And um, now I'm building out these ghosts. But I'm showing you real quick. My daughter's on the other side of the camera. And she's playing with the decor I have staged to go up on the built-ins. And um, she showed me that one set of stairs with the leopard print on it. And she's like, Mommy, I love it. And I was like, I love it too. She's already got that eye for design. Um, but I'm showing you right now. I got these three set of ghosts. Well, really, it's one ghost per box, but um, you can adjust them to three different heights. It's from five below, and it's actually four dollars. And look at that monkey see, monkey do. She's gonna help me build this ghost, but um, it was only four dollars, like I said. And um, it comes with the stand and everything you need, even the lights. And you just need to add AA batteries to it. But they have a beautiful glow effect at night, and they. Are pretty much comparable to the Pottery Barn ones that are like $80 or something crazy like that but I love how it turned out and you'll see in the nighttime looks of how beautiful it is and it glows at night. Now I'm just adding a few more Halloween accents to the top of the mantle before we move to the built-ins. And I'm curious, once Halloween's over, are you moving straight to Christmas? Or are you going to still make time for fall and get ready for Thanksgiving? Um, I'm definitely going to celebrate Thanksgiving, but I'm definitely moving into Christmas immediately after uh, Halloween.
of styling in some everyday decor and some Halloween. I don't really have enough in mind to put here, but um, I think it turned out super cute. I'm adding in that little pumpkin that I got at um, Big Lots, and he's a disco pumpkin, so it's fun when the light's coming in in the morning. And then I'm kind of doing, I staged the shelves very similar to how I had them in my uh, living room at my old house, except these are white as far as like the heights of the shelves. But um, I'm, I'm kind of doing similar decor too. I just haven't had time to get my mind around what I want to put in here and moving into Christmas, I'm not really gonna put every day year round decor fully here until after uh, the holiday season in January. So that'd be fun for us to just establish what the look's gonna be like in here. But for now I'm going for a really fun look with black, white and pinks and just pastel -oween kind of in the living room. And it's super cute how this turned out. I love this little ghost um, planter or whatever you want to call it, a crock, whatever. It's from Dollar General and they're viral this year. I got the bigger one too and you would have seen it in my first Halloween decorate with me in my uh, bathroom, half bath. I'm not showing everything in this video because I'm doing a lot of everyday decor too, not just Halloween. And I really want to actually update the built-ins and how I style them in the new year. But for now, this is what I'm doing here. And I'm just kind of speeding it up to show you the spooky things that I'm adding in, which you're going to see here in a minute. I did add those fun little spooky eyeballs to my um, apothecary jars up there that I had at my old house. And that little uh, vase I just added actually had some black butterflies in it and then this is our fun little family portrait where we uh, cut out jack lanterns and put them on our heads this was like three years ago and I shared this with my daughter was actually one at the time and we just photoshopped her little jack lantern on her head and I also replaced the background with more of a creepy fall background and I love how this turned out it's one of my favorite family photos of us <music> the spooky cozy vibes to the living room and we've had these out like pretty much since September but I'm just showing you guys I'm cleaning it up now I got those ghost pills at Target and I'm adding these fun buttery soft as they say on the gram um, blankets from home goods and then we're gonna go ahead and do a little styling on the coffee table and I'm also going to show you a little arrangement on the bistro and then we'll take you through all the nighttime looks including the outside so be sure to stick to this video because 
Um, you definitely don't want to miss the outside. I hope you guys are doing well and you have a wonderful Halloween. Um, for us, we're going to go trick-or-treating. My daughter's going to be a bat. and she I don't know why she's just stuck on being a bat. I might dress up as a witch, but uh, stay home and give out candy. And then our 16-year-old's actually going to dress up as Santa Claus because he's ready for, I guess, Christmas, just like I am. And uh, our other son, who's 13, he's going to be a bush, which is basically he's going to wear a ghillie suit um, because he likes to do that jump scare and just act like he's something in the yard and then scare people. Um, last year he was deaf and he acted like he was like a piece of the yard decor and I thought that was fun. And um, so I hope you guys are doing well and you have a safe Halloween and I look forward to getting back to you guys and starting our journey on some Christmas and also I'll probably be sharing just some fun Thanksgiving recipes in those videos too since that's coming up but it'll be mainly focused on Christmas. I can't wait to get all the trees out and show you my new ones. I hope you're doing well. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.